oh like the Sister Circle Live. People have been falling in love to the music of our next guest for years, from Can You Stop the Rain and What You Won't Do for Love and so many other remarkable hits. Oh, yeah. Two Grammys, two Oscars, and multiple gold albums yes. later, we are joined today by the legendary Peebo Bryson. Okay. <laughs> 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 Ladies. Hi. How are you? How are you, love? You all right? Yes. How are you, people? I'm a good mm -hmm. yeah. have You a can seat. have a comfortable <laughs> seat right there. How are you today? Lovely. Thank you. Yes. Yes, you yes, look yes. Thank you. Your skin is just amazing. flawless. Thank you. Appreciate that. People, the question that I have wanted to know for many years, and this might be very selfish. Well, that's me, okay. I'm just going to go right on just just because I'm, I'm in there. And this guy's a legend. <laughs> so you have this unique singing voice. What I wonder is, I mean, it's very, it's very strong and mature and authoritative. What I want to know is, has that ever been a crutch for you? You know, sometimes in the industry they try to say it may sound um, too old or too young or whatever the case may be. No, I, I think, I think the the key to sustaining a long career is mm -hmm. um, individuality, mm. which we don't have a lot of in today's music. Yeah. The, the mu today's music is great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and it's, uh, it reminds me of some things that, that I, I don't do anymore, and it, it reminds me to do some things that I, I used to do. Mm -hmm. um, but the individuality, you don't, you don't really have it. Mm. For instance, you can, <laughs> Jeffrey Osborne, James Ingram, you know, Phil Jessica Perry, mm -hmm. uh, the, um, <coughs> um, any, any of Take Six. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, right. And Brian, we could all sing the same song. Yeah. You could close your eyes and you could tell who was singing. Who's what? Mm -hmm. Uniqueness. Yeah. That's 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 the difference I think. You know, mm. I, I I don't think it's I don't think it's something that you 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 have to work at. I think it's something that you are or you're not. I think mm -hmm. it's it's more of a decision, a choice you make. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As an artist. Right. Yes. I mean, you, to be you and no one else. I think when people hear it, I mean, it's. And if you if the content of your your music is based on sincerity and reality, mm -hmm. if it's steeped in reality, then people can relate to it. So mm -hmm. that helps you to stay out here in the world for um, as long as you've been here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I don't want to. No, 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 you brought us some amazing songs uh, via Disney, A Whole New mm. World and Beauty and the Beast. I mean, what does it feel mm -hmm. like to be a part of songs that are like top ten selling of all time? Well, you know, it's one of those things as an artist you, you aspire to it, of course, but mm -hmm. you don't, you can't ever really, you, you don't, there's no crystal ball that says you're going to actually achieve that. Mm -hmm. It's, it's like anything else, I mean, that's, it's like birth. It's, it's divine. Yes. It is, oh, that's it, good. It's, it's divine because it came your way. You understand it for what it is. It's a blessing. Mm -hmm. And you accept it as such. You so, perform it as such. Mm -hmm. We've had people like Ariana Grande <coughs> mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. well as John Legend to cover it. What, well, do, you, what do you make of that? How, how do you feel about that? Well, first of all, they're two very talented people. Yes. yes. You know, they're, they're, they in their own way, mm -hmm. they're... They sing, yeah. you know. They sing a, a John is John, and yes. and and, and Ariana is what she is. She's, yes, they can sing. Yes, but like like all uh, duet artists in the beginning, it, the duet thing is a whole different mm. set of rules and a whole different set of of, of skills. Mm -hmm. uh, and I hadn't learned those skills when when I did my first project duet project with. Uh, Natalie Cole. I didn't oh, know. Yes, yes, yes. I didn't know. You know, you just do the music because you love the person and you love the artist. You yeah. love the music, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you have an opportunity to do something that's really unique and, and really special. Yeah. Um, but I didn't know how to make a great duet oh, at, wow. that, at that particular time. Wow. And next, the, the, my next duet partner was Roberta Flack, who's uh -huh. wow. <laughs> yes, yes, the queen right. of duets. Exactly. <laughs> well, well, you know, the, the, you've got a friend. The whole Donny Hathaway thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. They had. Oh, wow. They really knew how to do a duet, yes. and she was Roberta's really a she's really a teacher by nature. So she's very nurturing, and mm -hmm. she taught me how to play to my duet partner's strengths and weaknesses equally. Oh wow! Now, people, you are—I um, mean, 
you're known for some of the most amazing ballads of our mm -hmm. time. Right. I mean, Absolutely. timeless ballads that we use for weddings, date nights, well, proposals, everything. Well, when the babies come. Oh, I uh, know well. that's right. What I want to know is, what do you think the difference between crooners now is between them from they were <laughs> coming up in this industry? Because you, you spoke a little bit about that. So. I think uh, it's more probably not. It's not vocal skill. It's uh -huh. um, I think depth of content of the music. Ooh, that's good. That's real good. Right, you know, because what, 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 what are they really singing Singin about? You know? <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> Message. <laughs> right, right, because we're not talking about real relationships here, so oh, the, not there's, at no, all. No, there's no real information to be gained from it. Correct. You know, because it's uh, what we have now is. A relationship nowadays is like a, an Let me actor text you going a couple on. Of times right, and, uh, it's like an I'll actor going on a on a, a, a an interview or mm -hmm. an audition. You know, mm -hmm. it's like you may want the, the job, you may not. <laughs> they may want you, they may not want right. you. Wow. You know, so do that's you think, a, go see. Do you think that that has um, played a part in the lack of love that we see, kind of as a whole in our world? You know, because music is the, <laughs> is the soundtrack of life. And if you're not talking about love, then, then people aren't. Thinking, thinking about love. If you're not singing about love, then people aren't feeling about it. Mm. You know what I mean? What, what do you? What, it's, music is the is, is the perfect platform to broaden someone's emotional range. Yes. Anybody's emotional range. <clears throat> it's it's nothing for me to be at a driving <laughs> range with my wife and a guy comes by and he's got 3.2 kids with him mm -hmm. and. They go down and they hit their, their golf balls. About 10 minutes later, they come back and they, he lines them all up. Mm. Lines these three or four kids up. And he says, this one's a, this one made on, feel the fire. This, this one's made on, <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> to you. you. Oh, and the wife is standing there going, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's what happened. <laughs> well, but that's a, great, though. You yeah, know? it's I mean, amazing. And we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to talk more about this. Thank you so much for being here. Just everybody oh, no, stick no, around. No, 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 yes, keep on rising. Flames of mine. I'm here with the ladies. Yes.